You go on a first date with someone. What habit or characteristic is a deal breaker? They only want to talk about themselves. I once had a 2 hour blind date. By the end, I knew everything about this girl. I knew all of her cats by name. And what their favorite movies were. She asked me literally nothing. And just kept jumping from topic to topic. At the end of the date. She wanted to trade numbers, and I couldn't help but ask what's my name, and she didn't know. So I just paid for my meal and left. They talk over me and spend the conversation giving me unsolicited advice about how to live my life. Edit. I feel like I need to specify that I was thinking of one specific first date that did not become a second date when I answered this. Law. The guy didn't like that I had dyed my hair blonde at the bottom and spent a lot of the date telling me about the dangers of bleaching your hair and how I should learn to make better choices. I just wanted to have a good dinner man. Too much discussion about money. Not a date, but first time meeting my current GF's friends. The one's first question to me was, so what do you do for a living? How much do you make? I've never forgotten it and haven't cared for her since that moment. That actually happened to me once and I actually walked out of the date. Towards the end of university, I got drinks with this girl from Tinder. Off the bat, she asked what I did for work, and how much I was making. Prior to this, I was working two part-time jobs, but quit both of them when I began doing really well through my online business. She must have thought I was lying or it was some rinky dink thing I was doing despite me explaining in detail what I did in a relatively hostile way. She then asked, do you have any plans with your life? I politely began explaining some of the jobs I was applying for before she cut me off and said, so you have no plans with your future is basically what you're saying. Thankfully, I had a $50 bill in my pocket, so I reached in, slapped that sucker on the table and just said, Enjoy the french fries and walk right out lol. Lots of people get nervous on first dates, but blatant hostility and rudeness is unacceptable. Plus, this was a killer confidence booster and reminder that you'll always walk away scot-free no matter how bad a date is. Someone who makes me read their bad poetry. This has happened to me more than once. I don't hate poetry, I very much like it, especially Vaughan poetry. However, on a first date, there is a huge difference between have you read this poem by X? What do you think of this bit? And here is my notebook. Read it all and tell me what you think. Story bits for those who asked. The first time this happened I was 18 and we met through mutual friends. While it wasn't great, it wasn't emo angsty levels of bad. Unfortunately he then started sending me poetry he had written about me and calling me his muse. This after having met once. He then went full stalker. So yeah. Nope. Second time was some years later. It was bad. But I was not mean about it. We continue chatting then said goodnight politely and parted. The next day he went from I had a really nice time. Give me a call. To. I am sure you are busy. But please reply. To. Clearly you are ignoring me so let's never speak again in the space of a 3 hour barrage of text messages. I was at work so I didn't see the messages till lunch time. Being a know it all. I had lunch with someone who called the table salt sodium chloride and used the bread as a way to tell me everything he knew about complex carbohydrates, some of which wasn't even correct, and their connections to evolutionary theory, just felt like he was compensating for something. I was once set up to go on a blind date with this girl, we were given each other's email addresses and so I hit her up, we exchanged a few pleasantries, then set up a date time to finally meet, the day of I get an email from her in the morning with an attachment. I open up the attachment and there is a questionnaire with like 25-30 questions on it. She requested I kindly fill out the questionnaire before we meet. I quickly reviewed the questions before sending her a reply saying that it's probably best we don't meet. I don't know what characteristic she embodied, but I'd say that was a deal breaker. What kind of questions were they? I don't recall the exact questions, as it was a long time ago. But I do remember some were as innocuous as dog or cat, but others required further explanation like who is your favorite person in the world, what has he she done to make you like them so much, it was insane. I've had job interviews that were less thorough. Here is a great story. First date in college. I drive a truck and live in a city, so spots are tight. This spot is particularly tight, so I say. This is a tight spot so watch your door when you open it. Girl are you telling me how to open my door? doesn't pay basic attention and slams the door into the other car. 
if they are hard to talk to, might not make them a bad person. But obviously there is no chemistry if all I get are one word answers where they also don't reciprocate questions. So you're a teacher right? Yep. Well that's cool what grade? Second. Or oh, what a great age. That's like the perfect time cause kids still kind of like school. Aha. Uh -huh. Dot check please. One of my best friends casually began to date one of my ex-girlfriend's friends. He was really starting to like her and took her out on consistent dates. A few sleepovers, etc. My ex-girlfriend told me this girl was texting her about her date with my friend later that night. My ex asked her if she was into him as much as he was. Her, her literal response was no. But free food is free food. I was hurt for him. Devastated. I didn't want him to feel what I felt and I wasn't even the one dating her. I took my friend, roommate at the time also, aside that afternoon and asked him to please delete her number and never talk to her again. I didn't say why. I just asked him to trust me and to please stop seeing her. It's for the honest best. Knowing me for years years. He politely accepted my request and deleted her. Without question. He knew I knew something and understood I was helping him avoid emotional pain disappointment. He is too nice of an individual to experience that. Trust goes a long way. Zero opinions on anything. If I'm going to date someone. I want some sort of brains or passion going on up there. I had this happen with a girl I was talking to 3 years ago. She seemed to have no passion about anything. And honestly it seemed like she didn't have any personal opinions. Conversation would go something like this. Me. What are you majoring in? Her. History. Me. What time period are you interested in? Her. None really. Just studying it because my parents said I would probably like it. Me. What sort of job are you hoping to get after graduating? Her. My parents said I'd make a good teacher. So I'll probably look into that. Whenever I asked her a question the answer about why she liked something. Or her interest. Or an opinion. She would always talk about it as if it was someone else's idea or opinion. And it always seemed to be. I watched a monster eat a Caesar salad with her mouth wide open. It was impressive but absolutely gross. Within 20 minutes of that date I knew where her vibrator and weed were stored at her parents place in her room and that she made 240 bucks every 2 weeks. I know a girl who asks every guy she goes on a date with what his credit score is. She wants to make sure they're financially stable. Also she's 23 and doesn't know how to pump gas. I don't hate people who smoke particularly but my parents smoked so much that I promised myself to never date someone who smoked. I used to smoke. I have been smoke free for three and a half years now. It is amazing how different I smell. And how I never noticed. I don't know how non-smokers put up with being around me smoking all the time. If all they talk about is how bad all their exes are. If all your exes are psycho. The chances are the problem is you. Children. I wish all the best to all the single parents in the world but I am not signing up to be a step parent. How about when I was invited out with a guy I met online to a nearby sushi place. We'd texted and chatted for about a week till I finally felt comfortable meeting him. Date picked me up. The conversation on the drive there was great. Seemed like we were connecting. However, while at the restaurant, he proceeded to order about $100 worth of sushi. While I ordered maybe a roll and some appetizers. My total would have been about $30. At most. I tried to engage him. But quickly realized the conversation was lacking. Because he was. Up. Busy. He proceeded to text on his phone the entire time at dinner. Ignored me and took pics of his food. Posted that the place we were at was amazing. He. Ate. Everything. In. Front. Of. Him. Okay. Gotcha. At this point. I knew what was going on. And. When the bill came. He was still on his phone. Posting. Texting. Laughing at the response to his posts. He ignored the waiter, plus the bill. The waiter politely left it on the table. I looked at my date. Then the waiter. Date never looked up from his phone. I then quietly, and politely asked the waiter to split our bill. Since date was so consumed with his phone, he didn't notice. Waiter retrieved the bill, adjusted it, then came back, with separate bills this time. The look on my date's face when he was handed a $100 bill for his food was priceless. I paid mine with my card, plus a hefty tip. Date asked me up. Oh crap, I forgot my wallet. Can you spot me? I just pretended I was on my phone and left him there, and walked out the door. I'd already ordered a new bra at this point. 
since he drove us there, and yes, don't worry, the waiter got a massive tip, about the amount of my bill it wasn't his fault that the date was an A hat, asking me zero questions about myself while talking incessantly about themselves, it's alarming how many dudes do this, why bother going on a date with another human if all you want is to hear yourself talk, mutual friends of mine tell me this girl I'd been chatting with on Facebook a bit really likes me, we were having interesting conversations and she was very interested in me, asking me about my life and interests and sh, I'm like awesome. I'll see if she wants to get food, they tell her I'm interested before I can do that and the girl asks me out on a date, like super excited for us to get together, she shows up looking almost angry to be there wearing a giant thick coat that wraps around her, it was April, we go to the pizza place and order some food, she is constantly on her phone texting someone and talking about the cats she owns, literally the entire time I wish I was exaggerating, the food arrived. She took a piece of pizza and started eating it without putting the phone down or looking at me or shutting up about her cats. I'm polite and engaging while subtly trying to talk about anything else. But before long I get the impression that she just wants me to react to these cat stories. Get back to my place. I'm done with this whole thing. I tell her have a good night. Good luck with the cats and chat with me later if she wants. Never hear from her again. The mutual friends tell me she said I spent the entire date staring at her boobs. I don't understand any of it. Even 13 years later, 0 out of 10, 1 upping. When I lived in the Midwest it was literally just part of the culture. Telling stories and being 1 upped was something you were desensitized to. I ran into a wall once I moved west where people pointed out that I did it. So I stopped. Now when I go on dates I usually get into things people are passionate about. If it's all about one-upping experiences then it's goals and meaning based on other people. Big turn off. There are a lot of people my age that are essentially living at a speed like Justin from Parks and Rec and it's a shame. I learned and appreciated so much more slowing down and being present for things alone. The Midwest is also rampant with superlatives. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen scariest thing that's ever happened to me. Really? Having your online banking freeze with the wrong balance on it was the scariest thing that's ever happened to you? F off. Don't one up on dates. Hearing how your trip to Cali for Coachella was the best experience of your life and how Diplo was the most amazing thing you've ever seen is not what I want to hear when I ask about your future at Purdue studying liberal arts. If they're going out with me, that's the deal breaker right there. Shows severe lack of judgment on their part. Their drinking manners. If they insist I drink, or suggest drinks shots after I've declined multiple times, I'll either think you have a problem, or you're trying to get me drunk, both of which I don't want. Men who insist you come over, or they come over, I'm all about prolonging a good date, and would love to go to another spot, but I really hate when men invite me over to their place, or suggest coming to mine at the end of the night, even worse when they get super pouty when I decline, for me. During at least some point during a first date I think hobbies or passions are brought up. I really don't care what hobbies you have. You could be into the dumbest shiver. As long as you are into something. Nothing. My red flag is when she says she goes to bars and clubs. And thinks that's a hobby. I know the f out.